We're gonna make a sachet bag. It's a very usual, very useful way to flavor your stock or any sauces. Uh, I will show you the basic technique to create a sachet bag, and then this is gonna be the classical sachet bag. Then, of course, you can use any spices of your choice. For a classical sachet bag, we're gonna need one teaspoon of dry thyme. If you have fresh thyme, you want to use one sprig. We're going to need parsley stems. Here, here at school, and always, you should keep your parsley stems as you use the leaves. Also, any kind of herb, cilantro, or anything like that, always keep the stems because they're full with flavor. For this one, I will use three, four stems. And I usually cut them in half, short, so they can be placed into the sachet bag. We're gonna need one bay leaf. We're gonna need one teaspoon of cracked peppercorns. Now, the easiest way to crack the peppercorns that, it, that we teach here at school, take them to the edge of the table. Now, you can use them whole, but if they're whole, they won't release the flavor that it's inside of them. What I take is I take the knife and I apply it, I bring the knife to the edge, that way I have free range with my knuckles. If I try to do this with the knife, I will not be able to crack my peppercorns and I might, I might damage my knife and I might damage my hand too because this end is really sharp. So what I do is I bring the knife to the edge of the table, I can lay the knife flat and with the heel of my hand, apply pressure so we can open up the peppercorns. We're not trying to produce a fine grain, we're just opening up the seeds so they can release all flavors. And this can be used as for, well as fennel, uh, allspice, when you're using whole grain uh, spices like this, just give them a little crack and it's gonna release all flavors. Again, it doesn't have to be a powder, we just wanna crack that outer shell. So at the same time that I'm applying pressure down with my knife, I'm also twisting my knife in a circular motion so I can even apply further pressure. All my crack peppercorns are cracked and open. I will proceed to put it inside my sachet bag. All right, this is our final sachet bag. We have our peppercorns, or bay leaf, and our thyme. If you're using fresh thyme, a couple of sprigs should be just fine. I use butcher twine. It's made out of 100% cotton. It will not uh, modify the flavor or anything you put it in. I don't like to use plastic or anything like that. Butcher twine com works completely fine. We're using cheesecloth. Um, we find it in the kitchens through our food uh, distributor, but it's also already available now at the supermarkets. I bring the four ends together and I might make a nice little bag, hence in French it's called sachet. I don't want to tie it too, too tight, just leave it loose enough so the spices can move around a little bit inside there. And I will tie it a very simple double square knot. Now the reason I'm using a twine is because easy removal of spices. Um, example, if I'm doing like a ginger sachet bag, I will be able to put this inside of my soup or my stock, and when the flavor is reached, I will be able to easily remove it from the stock or anything that I'm trying to give the flavor. Uh, the length of the butcher twines depends on how high your stock pot is. I consider that a foot and a half of butcher twine is gonna be enough for most stock pots. And this is your finish sachet bag.